talk in front of a camera is the scariest thing ever. I think we all know that feeling when a guy comes at a party or something with a camera or a microphone, where he points it straight at our face and the only thing we can say is just... Ecco big day, oggi facciamo un cambio POV. Matuada alla camera. Matuada alla camera. I think it's one of those things that either you have it or not and I think it's what has stopped me most from doing something like this, from doing something that is really about me. This, this work, this thing that I've done during my university day, I mean, it has been amazing. I have the chance to travel the world, see a lot of places, to meet a lot of new people and be part of a lot of cool projects. And whether it's work or not, I always shoot a lot of videos that I always end up not sharing because sharing them would be a, about me and I don't, we don't, we don't do that here. It's not something I'm used to do. The truth is that also lately I've been lacking a little of uh, motivation and I think it was because it is because I've always been working for other people and when you do that you end up sometimes being someone that only executes and while I'm doing this I'm realizing that I wasn't so pumped about editing something about doing something I think it was maybe Motocross Nation 2022 Red Bat, that big project we've done <laughs> So this is a pretty big challenge for me because I mean one thing is to get people to understand me in English and another thing is to really talk about something in front of a camera for more than a couple of minutes. So yeah, we'll see how much it lasts. So a super cool project that I've been part of uh, lately is the direction, do you want to call it like this? I guess just scripting, editing and shooting of a documentary. The documentary is about a mountain running race, the Lagorai mountain race, which is more than that. Uh, Ruggiero and Gabriele, these two guys that decided to put up this race in memory of a lost friend, which has now been gone for uh, four years. And through the interviews to the storyline, they go through all their emotions and memories and stuff. And I mean, I think the story could really get someone crying at some point because the fact is that they really feel it they used to do a lot of things together these guys uh, are insane because they do like 200,000 meters of elevation every year they're training like five to six times a week that means like 750 meters of elevation every time Shooting this thing and going after them was the hardest thing ever. I mean, I'm not the most untrained guy out there, but going after these two was, was really hard, because these two bastards, they, they just won't stop. If everything went in place by now, we should have made it to the Trento Film Festival, which is a local uh, international film festival. Obviously, the theme is uh, the mountain, uh, which is held here in my region, in Trentino, in northern Italy. After finishing this documentary, what can I say from my side is the fact that a good interview is made of course by a good storyline, good storytelling, good talking, which of course uh, we are in this case, but uh, on the technical side I guess it's just uh, lights and setup. I got really really nerdy about how to set up lights, how to position them and spend like a thousand euros in lights, but in the end I was pretty stoked with the result we had, so let's go.
probably that everyone sees what he likes uh, on social media but I feel like that the big of uh, communication like I don't know Oakley, Nike or Fox Moto are seeking films and with that I mean not just a film look which we can try to emulate but I mean real and proper film and the way I see it if you're shooting digital you can still work on grain textures and stuff but there's just one thing that is really hard to replicate that only film has and the thing is uh, subtractive saturation. E che cazzo è? Not to get too technical about it, but basically what we are doing when we're shooting a film photo is just filtering light. And with what? With those uh, three layers that compose a film roll, which are cyan, magenta and yellow. As we uh, filter light to get uh, colors, the colors get darker as they get more uh, saturated. And believe it or not, this is just more pleasing to the eyes because when you're shooting digital instead colors get lighter as they get more saturated. I'm not saying that shooting digital is bad, I mean there's people out there getting the most beautiful result while shooting digital and the future is going in that way because this is convenient and this is good as well but if we don't pay attention the direct result to additive uh, saturation to shooting uh, digital is that heavy beginner heavily saturated look which before or after we have all came across during our lives. Subtractive saturation instead results in those reds, uh, blues and deep greens that we see in movies and we all love. For this shot right here I had a chance to use for the first time my new Hasselblad 500cm which is a square uh, medium format uh, field camera which it was a, the greatest graduation present that my friends could have thought about. I'm really grateful to them, I wasn't really expecting this at all. camera shoots a 6x6 uh, square uh, medium format films and you have to get used to this, this format but I think you can really find other perspective in photos uh, just for reference the full frame sensor which is basically the quality standard right now is 36 by 24 millimeter which is still quarter of a size of these uh, films which are 60 by 60 millimeter so imagine how many details this camera can actually capture One thing you have to keep in mind when using this camera is the focal length uh, reduction. On the APS-C cameras, with the sensor being smaller than the full frame uh, size, we have basically a 1.5 uh, drop. Here on the other end, we have instead a 1.5 reduction. So practically you have an 80mm lens mounted uh, on the camera, but the photos uh, you take end up being shot with like a 50mm. This is a no mechanical camera, so it has no batteries, no light meter, it's just uh, the lowest shooting process ever. To take a photo, it takes like a couple minutes. You have to take out your phone or your light meter and try to guess the exposure. What you're seeing is mainly Portra 160, uh, a couple uh, hectare 100 and a Kodak Gold. <laughs> the environment at the Canary is just something else. It really really feels like Mars. There's just nothing on the surface, it's just uh, winds and rocks. No shades, no animals, no birds, just a couple cactus here and there, but it's the fact that the wind burns out everything. The dirt is all volcanic and even though you're in the same place while driving you can really see the, the environment uh, changing. For the first time I consider coming back to a place. I think I'll come back surfing here maybe next year because I really enjoyed it. It was something that I've ever done. So yeah, right now I've been uh, talking for a while and I really don't know where this uh, video is going. Uh, when I was on the plane back home I just put down a couple of thoughts and see where this uh, could go. Uh, the thing is that as long as I enjoy it uh, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't go on. With this I think I have uh, one or two more that I would like to do. In my life I never thought I would say something like this but catch you in the next one.